This is Jonas from VHDLWiz.com. In this video, we are going to learn about a loop and exit statements in VHDL. In the last tutorial, we learned to delay time using the wait for statement. We also learned that when the program execution reaches the end of a process, it immediately continues from the beginning again. This is what we refer to as the process loop. But this isn't the only kind of loop in VHDL. Let us create another kind of loop within the process. I'm going to copy all of this code into a new editor window and I'll save the new file as to3, meaning tutorial03 underscore loop tb, which stands for testbench, dot vhd. Let's just go ahead and click save. Let's just delete these old comments. By the way, comment lines in VHDL always begin with two dashes. Now let's put the report and wait for statements inside of a never ending loop within the process. We do that by surrounding the code we want to have inside of it with a line containing the word loop at the beginning and a line containing the words end loop semicolon at the end of it. Now the program execution will loop inside of the simple loop that we created, but it will also loop inside of the process. Let's throw in some report statements so that we can see what's going on when we simulate the design. Before the loop we will print a message saying hello and after it we will have one that says goodbye. Let's have a single wait statement at the end of the process so that we know that the program has never been restarted. Let's go ahead and save the file. Oops, I forgot to change the entity and architecture names. I'll change them to to3 underscore loop tv, which is the same as the base name for the file that we created. And save. Now we are ready to simulate the design and I'm going to bring up ModelSim and add this new VHDL file to the ModelSim project. Then we have to compile the file, so we select it and we press the compile button. And we can see from the transcript window that it all went well, no errors. Then I'll start a simulation with new design and model sim will switch to simulation mode. When I press the run button to start the simulation, it will simulate by default 100 nanoseconds. Let's check the transcript window. The first thing that was printed out was hello, followed by a bunch of peekaboos. But it didn't print any goodbye, there's no goodbye at the end, only peekaboo. So it obviously never got out of the loop. That is of course because the program has no way to exit this loop, it's an infinite loop. I'm going to show you now how you can exit the loop in VHDL. Let's just select this wait for 10 nanoseconds statement, we don't need this one anymore, and replace it by a single keyword exit, followed by a semicolon. Save the file, compile it, and restart the simulation. Now when we press the run button we will see that only three lines get printed out to the transcript window. Hello, peekaboo and goodbye. The first line that the program hit when entering the process was the report hello line. And then it entered the loop and immediately printed out peekaboo. But before the program reached the end of the loop it hit the exit statement which caused the loop to terminate. And the next line that was executed was the report goodbye line. And after that, the program hit the wait statement, causing it to pause forever. That's all I had for you in this video. For more tutorials and blog posts, visit vhlwist.com.